Purchasing a generator doesn't have to be overwhelming. Whether you need one for home, work, or play, we'll walk you through each option to help you choose based on your required power needs, features, and budget. Before we start, let's go over two types of portable generators that are available. Traditional open frame generators and inverter generators. Traditional open frame generators run at a fixed engine speed and have greater power output at a lower cost. Inverter generators are more advanced and engine speed is based on demand. They produce cleaner power, are quieter, more fuel efficient, have a longer engine life, and some can also connect parallel with another inverter for increased power. For home. Choose at least 3500 watts to keep the fuel essentials on, like your lights, laptop, TV, microwave, and refrigerator. To power everything in your home, choose a generator in the 10,000 watt range or higher. All portable generators run on gasoline, but dual fuel models allow you to use gasoline or propane. This means you have the option to use your barbecue tank to fuel your generator when the power goes out. To start your generator, you can use a traditional pull cord like a lawnmower, a simple push button, or even a handy wireless remote which can start and stop your generator from inside your house. Bluetooth connectivity means you can use your phone to monitor power usage, fuel level, and more. Most models have at least two standard household outlets. For simple transport and to avoid heavy lifting, don't forget the wheel kit. Traditional open frame generators are the least expensive, starting at around $150. Inverter generators are quieter and more fuel efficient than traditional generators and start at around $400 to over $1,000. For work. Your next project requires reliability and no fuss operation. A generator in the 3,000 to 4,000 watt range will run one or two small tools at a time, while you'll need between 5,000 and 8,000 watts to run multiple tools at the same time. Above 8,000 watts will allow you to run multiple tools plus large power equipment simultaneously. Make sure you choose a model with wattage and outlets that are a good fit for your equipment, and consider electric start to save time and effort. Since noise isn't a big deal on the project site, a traditional generator is a practical and economical choice. Models with outlet covers are also a good call so you can keep your outlets free of dirt and dust while you're not using them. Depending on features and wattage, you may spend as little as $350 for a 3500 watt generator or upwards of $2000 for one in the 12,000 watt range. For play. Whether you're camping, tailgating, or taking a weekend trip, a model in the 1000 to 3000 watt range would be ideal. For use with your trailer or RV, choose a model in the 3000 to 4000 watt range. A quick push button electric start or a convenient wireless remote are great options to make play even easier. Choose a model with Bluetooth connectivity for even more convenience. For your RV, make sure to choose a generator that is RV ready with the type of plug your RV requires, 30 or 50 amp. Since they're small, lightweight, and most importantly quiet, inverters are a great choice for campgrounds. If you need more power, choose a model with parallel capability so you can pair two inverters together to increase your output. This gives you the benefit of a small, lightweight unit that's easy to store with the power of a larger unit to run things like an RV air conditioner. Traditional open frame generators start around $300, while inverters start around $400. Your cost can be $1,000 and higher depending on the power and features you choose. No matter what you plan to use your generator for, consider purchasing one that features CO Shield Carbon Monoxide Auto Shutoff System. CO Shield technology monitors the accumulation of carbon monoxide, CO, a poisonous gas produced by engine exhaust when the generator is running. If CO Shield detects unsafe elevated levels of CO gas, it automatically shuts off the engine. CO Shield is not a substitute for an indoor carbon monoxide alarm or for a safe operation. Do not allow engine exhaust fumes to enter a confined area through windows, doors, vents, or other openings. Generators must always be used outdoors, far away from occupied buildings, with engine exhaust pointed away from people and buildings. Whether it's a generator for home, work, or play, we've got you covered.